One summer evening, Thomas and Percy were talking to each other at the sheds. You know, said Percy, summer's started recently, and I've been wanting to go to the seaside, but all I've been able to do this summer is just pull cars around, and I'm sick of it. Well, you know, said Thomas, I do have some passengers that I'm taking to the seaside tomorrow. Maybe if you want, do you want to pull them? Really, said Percy? Oh, thank you, Thomas. And the engines all fell asleep. The next morning, Thomas and Percy were at the station. All right, said Thomas. Are you ready? Yes, I am, replied Percy. All right, said Thomas. But just to warn you, Annie and Clarabelle have needed are way overdue on service, so their couplings may be a little rusty. So just remember that and be careful, okay? All right, said Percy. I'll be careful. I promise. And with that, the whistle blew, and Percy chuffed away. Percy was extremely excited to get to the sea, and was thinking about all the things he could do. I could watch the seaside, I can watch the people play. Oh, it's gonna be wonderful. <laughs> Percy was so excited that he wasn't even paying attention attention to what was going on, and that's when it happened. Annie and Clarabelle's coupling snapped, and they rolled down the hill. Percy didn't even notice. Hmm, the train feels a little lighter now, but oh well. I can't wait to get to the seas. I, it's gonna be great, said Percy, very enthusiastically. At last, Percy finally made it to the seaside. All right, he peeped. Everybody out. But there was no response. Only silence. Percy looked back, and with, and he was terrified at what he saw. Oh no, he said. The passengers. Where are they? I, I must find them, he said. And he quickly raced away. When Percy returned, the passengers were understandably very angry, but when they saw how sorry Percy was, they reluctantly agreed, and Percy very carefully hopped away. At last, Percy finally made it to the seaside and watched as everyone else played. And when everyone had to go home, he happily took them home. Later that night at the sheds, Thomas and Percy were talking. So, said Thomas, did you have fun today? Yeah, said Percy, but now I know. I really gotta be careful next time. Also, Annie and Clairebone really do need a service. Well, luckily they're going in tomorrow, said Thomas, and the engines all fell asleep.